Yellowstone's Norris Basin geyser erupts violently in winter, leaving USGS scientists stunned. One of the most famous geysers in Yellowstone National Park. Yellowstone National Park, WY, in a shocking and unprecedented event, the Norris Basin geyser erupted with immense force in the middle of winter, sending boiling water and steam hundreds of feet into the air. The eruption, which took place amid the freezing temperatures of Yellowstone National Park, has left scientists at the United States Geological Survey, USGS, scrambling for explanations. According to park officials, the eruption occurred just after 7 a.m., shattering the morning silence with a deafening roar. Towering jets of superheated water burst skyward, blanketing the snowy landscape with a thick, sulfuric mist. This is it. Rangers stationed nearby described the scene as surreal. Glistening icicles on trees instantly melted, and the normally serene white tundra became a churning, steaming wasteland. USGS scientists caught off guard. Dr. Michael Reynolds, a leading geophysicist at the USGS, admitted that the sudden eruption took researchers by surprise. We've been monitoring Norris Geyser Basin for years, but this event defies our expectations. Geysers typically go dormant or exhibit reduced activity during the winter due to decreased groundwater supply. The sheer force and unpredictability of this eruption are deeply concerning, Reynolds stated. Recent data from the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory had indicated a rise in underground thermal activity, but nothing suggested an imminent eruption of this scale. USGS teams detected minor seismic tremors beneath Norris Basin in the days leading up to the explosion, but the event itself was far more powerful than any recent activity in the region. This isn't just a typical geyser eruption, Dr. Lena Vera, a hydrothermal specialist with the USGS, explained. The energy released was several times stronger than usual, and the duration was far longer. We don't yet know what caused this surge in pressure beneath the basin, but we're investigating whether it's linked to deeper activity within Yellowstone's magma system. Around in the subsurface. That's sort of a, a common misconception. The magma chamber beneath Yellowstone. Eyewitnesses describe a scorched winter wonderland. Visitors who had braved the sub-zero temperatures for a glimpse of Yellowstone's famous geothermal wonders found themselves witnessing a rare and dangerous natural spectacle. Many were standing on boardwalks around the Norris Geyser Basin when the explosion began. We were taking pictures when, all of a sudden, the ground shook and this enormous column of boiling water shot into the sky," said Mark Ellison, a tourist from Montana. The steam was so thick you could barely see, and the heat was intense, even from a distance. It felt like the whole park was waking up. Others reported feeling the heat radiating off the ground as pools of water turned from ice to scalding liquid in a matter of seconds. Some snow-covered trees closest to the geyser even appeared to catch fire briefly before being extinguished by the geyser's deluge of water. Park rangers swiftly moved visitors away from the scene, fearing secondary eruptions. Could this be a warning sign for Yellowstone supervolcano? The Norris Geyser Basin is one of the hottest and most thermally dynamic regions in Yellowstone changes happening here, not solely because magma is moving around. Over the years, scientists have closely monitored this area for signs of rising activity, as changes in geyser behavior can sometimes indicate deeper disturbances in the volcanic system. While experts caution against alarmist theories, some are questioning whether this eruption is an isolated event or a harbinger of greater geothermal unrest beneath the park. We can't rule anything out at this stage, Dr. Karam noted. Whenever we see unusual activity like this, especially in winter, it raises serious questions.
We need more data to determine whether this was a freak occurrence or part of a larger pattern of increasing hydrothermal pressure in Yellowstone.